were like yesterday. My husband and I were married for 13 years and we were having marital problems so we got separated. I guess maybe he couldn't really handle the separation and the rejection so he shot my brother in the neck. He died on the spot, came straight in the house, shot my father. He died on the spot. He came in, shot me, thought I was dead, went after my mommy and my daughter, shot them and killed them. Everything happened in, I would say, five minutes. Bam, 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 everybody was gone. My whole world was turned upside down. There were so many things that happened that morning. I went blind, I bled out totally. I was on oxygen for a month. So I spent four weeks in the hospital and I got discharged in May, by August I should say. I could drive my own wheelchair. And I've, I'm determined to walk again and I'm gonna clap my hands down, which I couldn't do. I sing on the choir and I hope to be a motivational speaker, that's what I wanna do. It's very difficult for me and Joan not having any shower um, accessibility, not being able to get into the bathroom, period. And after her exercises at Shepherd, then we shower at Shepherd because that's the only way she can have a shower. And when we can't go to Shepherd, what we have to do is just put a lot of plastic around her and a lot of padding on the bed and just put as much water on her as possible and that's how she showers. She is definitely someone who is determined to be as independent as she can and not wanting to let um, her situation um, stand in her way. With anybody who has the unique uh, and specific conditions that um, Joan has, I think uh, being able to move around your house is a, a special difficulty. I know this type of remodeling for Joan is gonna be amazing for her and her home to take care of for her, for her caregivers, her sister, uh, for her to continue to flourish on her journey. I mean, she is such an amazing person. She's going to be empowered to be independent and to let her reach her goals and her full potential. Well, Jones made a lot of progress since she first came in. When she first came in, she wasn't able to do anything at all for herself. She now has the stability that her um, mobility from her wheelchair that has provided her. So with Joan having this accessible environment, it takes so much stress off of her. It would mean that she and her sister, instead of having to prepare for a one hour trip to Shepherd three days a week, they could use that time doing stuff that's more useful for them. Having my home remodeled to fit my immobility would be awesome. Having my own shower, having my own face basin to wash my face and do things that I'm normally, I normally do for myself, having it retrofitted would be good. That would be awesome as my daughter would say, awesomeness mommy, awesomeness. I would love that. We're here to make a possibility a reality for Joan and transform her life. We're asking you to join this campaign and to share it with everyone you know. We're also asking you to donate whatever's possible. Five dollars, twenty dollars, a hundred dollars. Please donate whatever you can.